At this point in life, I think I can say that I've become somewhat of a professional sleeper. Uh, I've been doing it for about uh, 26 years, so I've had some practice. So you think I'm pretty good at it by now? Eh, wrong. I'm the worst sleeper of all time. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Helix. I've had horrible sleeping problems since I was uh, a little kid, and it's it's honestly the worst. I have a very hard time falling asleep. My brain goes through all, my, I just do all the things with my brain right when I'm supposed to be going to sleep. Several months ago, we started working with Helix and we got the Moonlight Lux mattress from them. The reason why we got the Moonlight Lux is because we took the test and we found out which mattress suited us best. There's two things that are amazing about this. One, I'm really comfortable even when I'm trying to fall asleep doing my best. Two, I sleep much better. When I actually am asleep, I sleep 10 times better. And the mattress we had before this wasn't even bad. It was actually a decent mattress, but this one, I've gotten so much better sleep. And Victoria too. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have had as many bags under my eyes in the past couple months. What's really cool about Helix is they make a lot of sleep goodies. So they not only do mattresses, but they have pillows. On here right now, we actually have a cool mattress cover, so it keeps the mattress cool and it's so amazing. But not only that, Helix is amazing because you take their quiz online, which is actually pretty fun. You guys should click the link and just do it just for fun. But you take a quiz based on what your sleeping patterns are like, like side sleeper, stomach sleeper, back sleeper. And then based on that quiz, they come up with a mattress specifically for you. Then they ship you the mattress for free. It arrives on your doorstep. You don't gotta go to a store and then you unbox it. Then you get a hundred nights to try it out. And if you don't like it, which is impossible, full refund. That's how amazing their mattresses are. If you guys go to helixsleep.com slash Evan Shanks, use that URL, you guys get $200 off of a mattress plus two free pillows. Browse around their site, check it out, take the quiz because it's fun. And if anything, just give it the 100 day trial, give it a shot. Thanks to Helix for sponsoring this video. Let's move forward to the rest. He's getting ready for the most epic burnout. We got new tires coming today, so before we get started, we gotta make sure we say goodbye to these properly. Gotta get myself amped up first. High five, Keely. Good girl. It was a one wheel peel. What? It was your side. Well, one of them is definitely destroyed. That was a lot of smoke that for one wheel. That was a lot wheel. of smoke. Goodness. Yeah. I gotta do it again then. <laughs> that tire still has a little bit left on it. It's getting there. Dude. Yes! <laughs> you said you wanted a burnout, guys, so here you go. I can try it again. It's up to you. Ooh, it's smoky in there. It did the same thing. I, what the heck? There you go. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of tire, bro. <laughs> that's at least, I would say, 30 to $40 worth of rubber. Oh, yeah. Maybe another 20, 20, 30 bucks over here, too. I'm. Oh! Super unsure why only one wheel ended up burning out. Like, that's really weird. Because, I mean, if you look at the past video, both of them always tried to burn out. And so, obviously, it engaged, like, going around the corner. So, Really weird. This guy definitely has seen better days. Good Lord, I'm gonna have to, oh, that's so crusty nasty. Oh no! Not the new exhaust, bro. I saw some comments like, come down under if you wanna see a real burnout, mate. No! I'll do it right here! In my freaking driveway! Okay, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Yes, my sister dyed my hair. Oh boy.
right. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I miss you. That's my 350Z, by the way. I own a 350Z. It's got an LS in it. So what I really want to see is how much power it lays down stock. Sorry, I'm yelling. I, it's, it's windy. I want to see how much it lays down stock and then also compare how much Ethan can pull out of the car. Classic uh, check engine light for no cats. Environment gang. He's cleaning up some leftover 240SX right now before we get going and then we back up onto the dyno. Dude, this thing sounds so crazy. I heard you coming in. That's on the quiet mode too. <laughs> How excited are you that I brought you a car that you're just tuning and not? I am so excited. Words, <laughs> words cannot really convey how excited I am. No transmission uh, changes, flushes, the gearing, you know, you don't have to pull a trans, pull a motor. I am not touch a wrench. <laughs> None. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna lay down a fat stock number right now. Woo, it's gonna be really loud. Yeah, it's gonna be really loud. The headphones are somewhere. So this car makes 480 crank uh, crank horsepower. Well, we're about to translate that to wheel horsepower for you guys right now. Oh boy, this is gonna be loud. This is gonna be really loud. Dude, that concentration. Oh man, he's concentrated right now. You excited? Yeah. Hey, this is the first time we're tuning your car. So here, here's about what we're looking at that's stock. 480 crank horsepower translate on a Mustang dyno in Texas down to about that much. So we're gonna see how much we can squeeze out now. So this car is funky, German car things. This car literally has a dyno mode, meaning like right now, even though traction control is off and he's in manual mode, he was just at 6,000 RPMs and the throttle, even though he was full throttle, went to like 35% throttle. I personally think that's super dangerous for a car to do that for you, but then again, some people just don't know how to drive and maybe that would save somebody, but like, I don't know, that's weird. Hey, we're going up. So far after just a few pulls, we're up 30 wheel horsepower. It's just after a couple pulls and Ethan's fingers. Pops and bangs, pops and bangs, pops and bangs. <laughs> oh, it's stinky back here. Oh my God. That got stinky real quick. Stinky and hot. Right now he's figuring out some timing stuff. It's making a little over 400 wheel horsepower. I can't imagine how weird a, a tuning a German car is, especially like something like this. It's already been an interesting one so far because of the throttle management. And he's just trying to mess with the timing right now, but he's made 30 horsepower without even touching timing, which is so impressive. I would be stoked if we saw anywhere around 420, 430 wheel out of this car on a Mustang dyno. A few moments later. Damn it! Ethan goes, don't film this run because I don't know if it's going to make any more power. You know how I just said 420 would be cool to see? Well, here we go. <laughs> I'm just Sorry, kidding. Mate. I'm going to film everything from now on. <laughs> so, what are you like? What are you experiencing different on this like German car versus, or are you having any oddities? Well, definitely, definitely getting started. There's some settings that you have to look at like uh, mass air table select one. EGT table select 10. So that means that actually inside of the tune, like there's math table one, variant one, mm. variant one, variant zero. So depending on what I see in the log, that tells me which table here I need to grab. And I guess your car only uses variant one tables. It does not use the variant zero tables. Your spark timing, 
I wouldn't say it's like a coyote, but it's it's kind of like a coyote where it has different timing, four different timing tables based on where the intake cam in is, where the exhaust cam is. We've turned off all the catalyst uh, spark stuff right there. I don't know if when you first start the car on a cold start, if you were getting ridiculously loud. Yes, okay. it was very loud. We can, that that has now gotten rid of. Oh. If you want it to. <laughs> yeah, it's probably good for the neighbors. Yeah, I cool. Wizard fingers, wizard fingers. So we're floating around 420 right now. Um, he was just looking at another dyno. There's another tuner that uh, they had about the same base, about 370, 365, something like that. And he only got it to 412 on same similar mods. So I'm impressed. And like 40 horsepower and a difference. It's gonna be fun. Like 420, 423, woo! Nice. That's nice. Car's pretty quick, babe. I'm ready to go take on some Mustangs. <laughs> yeah. What do like full bolt-on Mustangs usually make on pump? Around this? That's Pro pretty close to it, yeah. 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 These are probably a little heavier. Yeah. You'd be close, you'd, you'd hang. If Ethan tunes the Mustang, There's the Mustang the will win. I would win. If anybody else has tuned the Mustang, you'll probably win. <laughs> so something really cool about the P31s, um, these engines are all handcrafted and you actually can see it's uh, Florian. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what, how, how to read that last name, but uh, Florian built this boy for us. That's pretty cool. The P31s supposedly have a built bottom end I don't know too much about these. Again, I'm not a Mercedes enthusiast, but I do. I'm starting to like them a lot, a lot more. Pop sand bangs. <laughs> Pop some bangs. Uh, attempting. <laughs> it is definitely in there right now. What do you gotta do for that? Like lift throttle and then just retard the timing? Where the, uh, basically when I just deceled down on that diner run, mm -hmm. I, uh, I go into the area of decel and retard a bunch of timing so that any fuel, any latent fuel will burn off nice. in the exhaust and nice. the motor. Here we go! I gotta do this, it gets so stinky! That was gonna be. Oh my god. <laughs> Some cars don't necessarily obey when you request kind of yeah. ridiculous timing numbers, but this one definitely obeyed Dude, my ridiculous request. That was awesome. This <laughs> car ever now. I can, I can tweak it and make it a little bit less obscene or, or not. I think that was that's the right amount of obnoxious. It's not ridiculous yeah. From where I'm sitting. So, so it has to be over. You have to be driving the car. You have to be over 3,700 RPMs in order to do that. So it's not going to do it all the time. Like if you're just casually driving, you just let off the throttle. But that sounds so sick. You should have seen him every time it popped. I knew, like, Ethan? Yeah, Ethan would look at me and I was like, yes! And he started laughing and he did it again. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, you have a cooler car than I do now. Damn. <laughs> You got a free, you got 55 horsies out of this tune. Thanks, Ethan. You have to pay $40,000 to do that in a Subaru. It's impressive, like completely, basically bone stock, except for an exhaust. 425 horse, that's pretty good. All motor, pump gas, I'll take I'm here it. for it. I'll take it. So I took it for a spin and Victoria took it for a spin and the car is really cool. It's definitely a little bit faster. Um, Ethan's 
is, Ethan is a great tuner. He ended up squeezing like 150 or 200 horsepower out of this one with just down pipes and then uh, the E85 as well. But as long as there's a way for him to tune it, bring your stuff to him. So he'll make it quick. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna want us to race, but you gotta remember I have I have 250 horsepower more than she does, and her car's way the same. So it's not really a contest. But her car sounds so good, and I know she loves it because even when I'm not recording, I can hear her making the pop pops. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? That's so fun. Yeah? How does it feel that you finally have a cool car that sounds cool and is cut fast and we uh, were able to modify it? It's a lot of fun like driving with you and like mobbing together uh -huh. and like we can kind of tease people uh -huh. together. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> Thanks babe. <laughs> Awesome. I've got a badass surprise for the shop that I don't want to show you guys till next video because I'm making an actual video about it. But it's really cool. We got something super cool done to the shop. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know. Twitter also knows as well. But it's really cool and nobody's seen it yet. Nobody will to the video. At the end of each video, I give you guys daily advice. I end it with you because my goal, like there's really no point in life for me to have a following if I'm not actually doing something for you guys that's valuable rather than just making pops and bangs for you. <laughs> if your happiness relies on somebody else, if you rely on somebody else to make you happy, if you put the pressure of your happiness onto somebody else, for one, you will never, you will never, listen to those very strong words I'm saying, you will never be happy. And in turn, you will also drag said person down. You have to learn to be happy with yourself by yourself first before you can move on to having a dedicated, committed relationship. If you cannot be happy alone, then you aren't ready. And you will also destroy the other person's life as well. It's an absolutely toxic behavior. You gotta learn to be independent. You gotta be able to do things by yourself. If your happiness depends on somebody else or just other people in general, I want you to know you can never, it's not even that you will never, you can never be happy because you'll always be just drained that other person dry and eventually they're gonna be dry and you're gonna realize that you're still not happy because you know what you never learn to do it on your own you cannot be happy if you rely on somebody or even something else whether it's a material possession or a person this is why for years I have told you guys learn to be grateful and thankful in absolutely every situation if you rely on let's say your dream car you think you're gonna be happy when you get your dream car absolutely you won't and don't be a smart ass you might have a little bit of joy for a little bit but you will not be happy you have to I can't stress it enough learn to be happy learn to be grateful on your own by yourself before you put it on somebody else because it will drag said person down with you as well I love you guys from the bottom of my heart I hope you enjoyed track star tune big shouts again thanks to army tricks for the amazing exhaust we love the top speed exhaust manifolds and of course I love Ethan to death. If you guys need a tune, seriously hit him up. I promise you, if you got like a Mustang or something in DFW area, pretty sure nobody can make a tune better than his and faster than his. He's also dyno proven. My statement I just made right there. So I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys have an amazing day. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. Make sure you click on one or both. And also make sure you subscribe. And I got a cool surprise for you next bit.